What's good, YouTube? We got another Tummy G in the hood with Ohio's sketchiest white boys. Hit that like and that sub button and send to the video. Um, big, the big bag on It's completely two different orders, bro. What happened to you, man? Hit me with a bite. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. We're on the block in Cincinnati. Bitch, I woke up feeling I would say this is the highest percentage of sketchy whites I've seen in the area. <laughs> Tommy G about to get his tat. Tell the people what's up. What's Let's good? Someone yeah. said, tell the people what's up. You can't be beating your what? dog like that. You won't beat your dog yet? No. This is probably the angle. You can say, they won't beat your dog yet? What? Before we head into the streets, nigga let me just tell you be beating on this dog. In 1788, Cincinnati was That's founded TOS. by three businessmen from Kentucky. At the time they bought it, Cincinnati was a wild wilderness where men starved and struggled to survive. Against all odds, Cincinnati began to prosper and became a land of opportunity where people like Mark Twain and Thomas Edison came here as young men to seek their fortune. Think of it as the LA of the early 1800s. Also, it was a key stop in the Underground Railroad, and the city had a strong abolitionist spirit. Now, let's take you up to speed in 2023. Due to its yeah, proximity to up, South, man. Cincinnati trenches have a healthy oh, mix they got of glizzies? and gangster. For murders by oh, Capra, a current Everybody's in glizzies is a scary rest. sight, man. Today, we to visit talented rapper T.E. and his crew to explore the I don't know who T.E. and his Cincinnati. crew is, but let's I'm about to find out. out. That's T.E. Right <laughs> We're at East Price Hill right now, man. My name, I'm spinning blocks just like a Ruby Street. You got 30 shots up in your block, I know my shooter do. This is what's been fueling our whole road trip. Are these what? healthier than this? Yes, because this has a ton of sugar. For you, Tommy G. That nigga, a healthy gangster. I'll go ahead and give me a Celsius. Okay. Okay. All right. You've seen 50 grams. I ain't gonna lie. Excuse me, I'm eating some gummy bears. I'm sorry. But look. I know the protocol, no eating in the in the camera and the microphone, but look. Look ASMR cam. Listen. Have y'all ever seen some healthy gangsters? I never seen no healthy gangster. I always seen like like some uh niggas that's really out there getting to it. They be they be eating noodles. This nigga talking about get the Red Bull without the sugar. Nigga, nigga, drink what you drink, nigga. Before, right? Yeah. That had 50 grams of oh, sugar. sugar. Right, that's the thing. Yeah. Nigga, you can't count grams sugar. sugar. Diet. It's hard you to feel good. It's hard to feel strong. Grams. We're going to taste test. I'll give you the berry one. I think the berry one's a little All bit right. better. It smells like sparkling water. No? It's like sparkling water with an extra razzle dazzle. Let's walk down to the house, man. I'll show you uh, where I jumped off the porch at. Do you think I should? Uh... Boy said I'm gonna show you where I jumped off the porch at. My boy, it sound like you still on that porch. I ain't gonna lie, you sound like me, nigga. You still on that porch, nigga? You cap. Do that. I've been noticing there's a lot of sketchy whites around here. Yeah. Like white guys that red look butter. like they'll mow your lawn. Gotta say red butter. We cross the pole, bro. Wait, was that superstitious? You gotta say that. They split bones. If you do, you gotta say red butter or spit on that motherfucker. And why that of all things? Because if not, you it's bad luck. Why are you in sport mode? <laughs> I haven't been to Cincinnati before I got you, me ready. You good, bro? You can take him out of sport mode. <laughs> right here is where I jumped off the porch at. Who oh, really? And when you say jumped off the porch, what does that mean? Getting out in the mix, out in the streets, okay. fucking around. Right here, they fucking around. around. I have friends out that live porch. actually in that house, all up the whole street. I got my first gun when I was 12. Yeah, I actually stole my first gun. What did your folks think? Did you grow up in a two-parent household, or what was your 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 childhood like? My mom and dad were split growing up. My dad had a wife, and then my mom had her dude. I was mostly. That nigga daddy was out here sneaking and geeking. He just out here snitching on his dad. Nigga talking about some, yeah, my dad, man. Nigga had my mom. He had another wife over there to the side. And then he had another one to the side. He just did his thing. Nigga, why you snitching on your pops, nigga? With my dad at a younger age. And then right before I did jump off the porch, I he moved said somebody my mom, jumping which off probably the porch. influenced me to jump off the porch because I was in a different neighborhood. Would it oh, be that whoa. she was at work and wait, kind of wait, free run wait. the house? We're not going to skip past that, nigga. Your mama influenced you to jump off the porch? Your mama a gangster too? She a Reggie. Me 
mean, I just kind of did what I want anyway. It's Tell probably about, it landed me in prison, really. <laughs> Tell me about that story. It was just years of doing the same shit over and over, you know? Robbing people, selling drugs, doing this, doing that, partying, <laughs> up. The left top apartment, dude there, his bitch used to smoke crack, but he used to sell crack, and they used to cook crack up there and shit. So my mom was on. on heavy drugs, too. So it was inside of my house, you know what I mean? What was okay. your, like, experience in that? It came normal. I didn't notice how, like, off it was, like, to be living in a situation like that. The whole United States is f***ed up on fentanyl. He was you used think to it's his it through the country. That's where all the fentanyl comes from, China, bro. They, and then they sent it through it's Mexico. Synthetic. Did you hear? Yeah. And around. So they some smart street dudes. I mean, you got to have some knowledge to be out here on the streets, but, I mean, they smart. They smart, smart. Book smart. Malibu's most wanted type of smart. I'm here, there's a lot of sober living houses. I don't know if y'all got that in y'all city. I bet you there's two of them where we're standing and we don't even know it right does now. That, does that ruin a block or help I a block? I don't know, man. It's just weird how they put the people that are trying to get off of the drugs right where they sell them at. Also got yeah, us understand how they're thing. taking advantage of that situation. Wait, wait, too. wait, wait. So they take the people that's trying to get out drugs and put them in the same neighborhood? Nigga, you basically telling them to buy crack. Why? Terrible, nigga. You could have moved them up the block. To a, as a matter of fact, you could have moved them to a whole different section of where they live in it or something. Like, as a matter of fact, take them out that neighborhood. Take them somewhere else. Nebraska or something. They get them out of Ohio. Dude, they can make a house that got seven bedrooms in it and charge people $70 a week each head. That's a $5,000 property a month right there. $70 you know what I'm saying? a week? Yeah, 100%. It's a lucrative thing that people, some people are trying to help, but some people really just want that money, bro. Stacking up, but I don't see shit. Let them drive the boat, they try to ride the wave, got seasick. Mafia up in this bitch, my back will weigh in 3 6. 2 a.m., dark tent, backing out, can't see shit. We got on the buffies. We, One, we, we were two, fucked up, but we weren't. Three, four, five. Six, six or seven houses just on this street. We you broke, broke into, into your neighbor's a homes. A, a lot of them were abandoned at the time. So did you ever get caught stealing? Yeah, I actually got caught breaking into this house right here. I went. Hey right, man, I'm gonna give y'all a quick story time right quick, bro. Yeah, I f I'm gonna give y'all a quick story time right quick. I remember I was chilling on the floors one hot summer. Saw a nigga, he running down the street with the TV, nigga. He don't get no worse than that. Was I bet you he wasn't running down the street with the TV. He was like, we know what that nigga doing with that TV. Nigga, y'all know what he was doing with that TV. He ran down the street. I don't even know how the hell you carry a flat screen and you run it. That nigga just, he gone, man. Look behind him, he gone. He carrying the flat screen and shit. He done, man, get in the house, man. And this was like 2008. I had the, uh, the all camo bay hoodie. It was the one Lil Wayne used to this wear. But I remember I hung himself. it up on the fence, and it was snowing outside. So they found my trail from my foot, my footprint. They found my trail back to my house from hopping the fences. Found my bay hoodie on the fence. The police came in and dragged. I'm not gonna lie, my boy. Of course they found your uh, whereabouts after you tried to run away from them because, bro, you for one you left footprints. It's snowing. Two. You left your bay hoodie, nigga. Dogs gonna smell all on that. Sniff you out. Have some street knowledge, nigga. I ain't even in the streets, and nigga, I'm thinking ahead of you, nigga. Damn, slow, nigga. Take me out in the Think snow. right. What was your punishment? Get out on the streets. Jump like back month, on that porch, nigga. And then I got out on house arrest. I How old were you? 13, 14. Oh, damn. 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 Where are we walking into right now? This is uh, brand new in the making tattoo shop. My brother's tattoo shop. Okay, he got a tattoo shop. That's just how I'm rocking. No, they probably say you got them reggae's in that bag or something. I've been going up and all this shit came out of pocket. Does anyone say like, oh, you're white, you're not hood enough? Or like, do you ever get that kind of pushback? Man, my I've been saying that throughout crazy. this whole video, and I'm sorry, my boy, because you might be hooded than I am. You might be hooded than Tummy G is. Tummy G the realest nigga out there. I shouldn't be saying that. Tummy G white. But look, Tummy G will go to hoods that you wouldn't go to. By his solo dolo. I'm just saying, man, Tummy G really be out there. He been jumped off the porch, and he ain't eating off the porch. Picking up what I'm putting down. What do people say? Look, you want to just go through, we'll just yeah. read a couple of them. Yeah. Right. This man has an ankle monitor for beating up his mom for not taking him to the dispensary. <laughs> what? Uh, I'd That's rather listen to country music and let Mike Tyson bite both my ears off. <laughs> Can we talk about how 
fucked up his haircut is. Let the man be great. Damn, social media need to change its name to talk at a safe distance. Do you feel like if you were black, you wouldn't be getting those comments? Slightly. You know, I say things in my uh, music. Tell me, G, what type of question is that? I feel offended. Do you feel like if you was black, would you get them type of comments? Nigga. Get them type of comments. We don't get them type of. We get comments asking for some money or something. That's the type of comments we get. Or they might roast you or something. Nigga, what was that? That ain't all type of comment. Pick that up you probably know, right? within the black culture more so of white people saying it. But like, to be honest, I don't give a. F you know what I mean? I am who I am. I'm not trying to be somebody else. It just might be the image, the blonde hair too. I got blonde hair and I got blue eyes and shit. So, but you know, come in real life. We'll see you in real life. It's that okay. one video. He said, pull like, up. Damn, dude always got the strap on him. Would you consider yourself hood? Yeah. So the gang I was in he was said, yeah. Cincinnati white boys, right? And only in the Ohio, really, prison system. What's crazy is, like, some of my closest people that was, like, gang members were black, though. Like When you're in prison, cities stick with cities, no matter of color. But that's what this is. That's 323-2 is. Which I don't gang bang. It's a prison thing, really, man, is what it is. So. Should I get a CWB tattoo? No. <laughs> Bro, I'll get a matching tattoo with you. You, bro, what's up? That's my favorite. I swear to God, I will. I'm ready to be certified in these Cincinnati streets. Matching tests, crazy. All right, partner. So we got a mic there. But I know one thing I'm a star. I'm gonna stay gonna try and write you off and leave you in the dark. I don't took a thousand losses, still I'm going hard. We're starting a gang. Smiley face gang, bitch. Black flow, you can put it on the state black flow. You got our consent. Oh, it's my birthday. You know what the going on. Big, big bag. Nigga got it on there. Nigga, it's my birthday. You already know what's going on, nigga. We don't know what's going on, nigga. Happy birthday, though. Oh, never mind. I see what's going on. He got the big bag on him. He got it on him. He out there, nigga. Get back in the house. That was the first time I feel like we've been checkpointed in a city. What just happened? Can we get checked a little bit? Hell no, they're not boys. My name Polo. Nice to meet you, Polo. Nice to meet you too. What's some Cincinnati lingo? Icy white. On oh, baby. Icy shit white. like that. Yeah, yeah. Like it can mean anything G. for real. Like, if I fought you on one, like, I just icy white is your ass. Like, hold on. B Naked yeah. said that somebody hit him with a bike. This one hit me with a bike? Now you got hit with a bike. <laughs> what happened to you, man? <laughs> hit me with a bike. Like a, mo a motorbike or a pedal bike? Pedal bike. These are completely two different orders, bro. You lie, bro. Yo. Bro, I know I done paused a lot, but look, we got to speak on this. Nigga said he got hit with a bike, bro. And then nigga gonna say a motorbike or a pedal bike. Nigga said, nah, a pedal bike. Nigga, how you get hit with a pedal bike, nigga? That's a lot of picking up. Nigga, i slam you before I pick, hit you with a metal bike. A pedal bike. I don't even catch that, but look. What this nigga do? We need to find out what did he do to get hit with a pedal bike, bro. And who pedal bike he got hit? Did he get hit with the kid's pedal bike? Because the kid could have been playing on that pedal bike. Then, you got the big boy pedal bike. That's just too... It's too heavy to be picking up and just how you going... What did he do? What did he owe somebody something? How would you guys describe Cincinnati as someone that's never been here? Energetic on a weekend. And it's some different shit in area hood. This hood right now. So you just turned 25. What are your reflections on life so far? Honestly, I just live day by day. Went to school, went to college, dropped out of college, started doing dumb shit. My life up. Got back in motion. There's always gonna be hurdles. All right, for you have it. Little lesson for y'all. Little lesson for the jits, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be like him. I ain't talking about Tommy G. I'm talking about the nigga before him. This nigga said, Yeah, man. 25. I'm just living life. I'm just flying by. I went to school. I dropped out of school. Got to some dumb shit. Got to some shit. Yeah, emotion. It's not motion, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, it's not motion, but hey, live it up, young nigga.
chance to where did things go wrong? My first day of school was going over the hard part. Okay, he got a little, a little jump. After I graduated high school, and that's where I really just did school and stuff for real. He was three years old when he passed. Sorry to hear that, man. Bless him, man. <laughs> How long did it take to get hair like that? About seven years. That dedication. About seven years. So tell me your story a little bit. Me and T.E., we do a lot of the music shit together. Oh, he got lots. Like the video shit, like, we just, as soon as we got... I ain't gonna hold y'all. No offense to the white people. I love y'all. I love everybody. But y'all look crazy with locks. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold y'all. It, it just look crazy. Look at that. Got together, we just started, you know, really collaborating, really working real, real hard. I went to prison. Real right, wrong, as soon as I got out, man, I just grind. That's it. What took real right, away wrong, the shooting? Okay, so what'd you learn from your time in going to prison? Don't play with this shit, man. Just don't play with life. You got one opportunity. You got to continue to do everything you're supposed to do. And then... Do most people mentally break at some point? Yeah, hell yeah. Especially like, you know, America's one of the few places that still use uh, solitary confinement. That's where a lot of people end up breaking that. I ain't never done a whole lot of time in the whole, you know, TE's done a significant amount of time, 23 and 1. 23 hours locked down, one hour out. That was the worst year of my life. Yeah. I, I was only in 23 and 1 for a year, but it was mostly a like- A whole year? Yeah, but it was like for 24 most of the time because they wouldn't do get for that? for assault. So I was at a medium camp for two years, and then I got sent to Lucasville. This you got my, that for a fight though? Yeah. It's like bars, so you could hear people talking. But not like this. For yeah, you year. wouldn't have no yeah, facial no. contact. None. What? Tell the people where we're at right now. The state block, man. SB. What is some Cincinnati lingo? I'm trying to, I want to blend in a little bit. So I learned it's up. I saw a dude get icy whited. <laughs> <laughs> you be in. You be just mean winning. What life is like growing up in, in this yeah, area? Yeah. It's rough, you know. It's, it's life of survival, you know what I'm saying? We lost a lot of guys down here, you know, block over on that corner. A lot of stuff just go on, happen. Tell me about your fashion choices right <laughs> now. Don't play this shit, don't be about none. I just do this shit. <laughs> I have a confession, okay? I've been to a lot of cities. I would say this is the, the highest percentage of sketchy whites I've seen in the area. <laughs> there is some what sketchy white advice for the youth? If they see all those music videos that they think they want to be in the streets, what would you tell people, young people watching those type of videos? Be in the streets, but just add to the to the positivity. Start a business, create some jobs, man. That's it. Be a good person, bro. Whatever you do. I like the last two people that gave that advice. That was smart. That was smart. That was smart. Be honest and be a good person. Work hard for that shit. Dream big and achieve that shit regardless. Is this a city that you can eat a hot dog in public or do you have to like do it in the privacy of your own home? <laughs> you around us, the camera's coming out. Nigga asked about a glizzy. I want to hear bars. If someone's got uh, bars, never stood next to your man's killing. Gotta keep it cool. Four mm. murders and four nights, like it gotta be the moon. Mm. Niggas screaming out twelve, like it gotta be at noon. I used mm. to tell them Woo! little kids that they gotta stay at school. Mm. They respond like, "Flee, we broke, and we gotta make a move." Okay. Cause our daddies ain't around, and our mamas needin' food. And okay. every hand on the first, we don't have it. We gotta move. So mm. when I wake up, I pray up. My knees hit the floor. I mm. feel for them little niggas. I was there once before. It was mm. me when I was down. You weren't there when I was broke. They bailed mm. on me when I fucked up. Wanna be here for the glow, and I'm okay. like, no. Niggas popping perks now. This is how we cope. Said you was the goat. Now that shit looking so. Nigga, my block got nightmares. You had to be right there. Mm. When Vega took a bullet to the yeah. side of the neck, you can only Ooh. catch a serving the best. Say a word with my chest. I'm the last little bird at the nest. I'm humble, cause I remember being a janitor at best. And before I owned the building, I was serving the guests. That's one thing for certain. I'm sure that you niggas working. Sure that you niggas hissing. And sure that you niggas chirping. Hey. No, oh, you're killing it. Nah, he's spitting. Nah, that's so true. Where you got hit at. You got hit in the face with a bullet. I came at my face. Ooh, what was that damn. like? I don't know. Random, that shit random day on the yeah, block, yeah. random night, man. How old was you when that happened? That shit, I was like 17 when that shit. Tommy G asked the most uh, craziest questions. Nigga said he got shot through his mouth and it came through the other side of his jaw. Tommy G gonna say something. Man. What did that feel like? Nigga, probably hell. Nigga, he was probably going through it, nigga. Nigga's probably screaming, nigga, for his life, nigga. What type of question is yeah, that? I ain't really trying to talk to nobody. He was a big thing, but today I'm feeling godly. Go ahead with your move. You know what can't stop me? Things in the way that I'm living. Remember them days I was caged in that prison. Some of G for the game, game, you know, man. He really outside. I ain't signing for the fate. If I'm really 
over racks and I made it over rapping. I ain't got to touch a package. I ain't got to catch a case. What is it like raising a child in this area? It was hard. Yeah. If it wasn't some, for some of the people down here, yeah. we probably wouldn't be in where we at today. At Oiler School, they did a beautiful job with my son for basketball. Yeah. I ain't never been so proud in my life. I'm just glad that all the things they do down here for people. They just built that over there. They got a That new development? Yeah. Are they making that section eight and helping people out? Yeah. That's good. Got one more. Oh, we gotta get that dog out of there. Get that dog. What happened next was really up. Nigga just almost killed the dog, man. Unk about to go crazy. Big bro, chill. Big bro, relax. Y'all know that nigga don't play about his dog. Y'all heard him at the beginning of the video, man. Stop playing with Unk. Big bro, he gotta relax. Ugly to watch. A man picked up his dog and was beating it. And I had to say something. Here's the interaction that. This nigga really be beating on a dog? Big bro, chill. Bro, you can't be beating your dog like that. She don't listen. I beat her ass. I'm not with that dog. Oh, so you just let your dog don't listen? I'm not. My dog's ass. That's for sure. You don't beat your dog ass? Oh, so bro, about to beat up some of you. They don't understand. Oh, that. Don't like There's alternate dog. methods of raising dogs around here. Shit makes me really pissed. Nah, I feel you. That ain't cool at all. This is probably the uh, angriest I've gotten in my history of YouTube. Yeah. Oh, God. God. Listen, I never saw you turn up. On this channel, we do not support anyone being heavy handed with their dog. Come on. It's your dog. I love my dog. Sorry I got a little heated when I see someone. Close. This dog's like 10 pounds. Like, come on. Hey, Tommy G is about to kick his ass. Okay, once, Close. whatever, but over, yeah, over. Kick his ass, Tommy G. I always want to have See, I like, keep trying to tell y'all, leave Tommy G alone. Tommy G barely jumped off the porch. He outside. Stop playing with Jimmy. Tommy G. He is not one of them, man. Stop playing with him. Come on, my boy. Stop playing with Tommy G, my boy. Stop playing with him. Oh my mama stop playing with Tommy G man. He'll pull up on you. You see what he was about to do to Unk. He, he don't like. Don't mess with no dogs around Tommy G nigga. He Loving attitude dogs, towards nigga. people, but that stuff gets me heated, you know? You're a good dog. You know that? You're a good dog. Where you Milwaukee. Tell me, G from Milwaukee. Milwaukee dance moves are the greatest, dude. Is there any advice for the youth? Stack your money while you young. Big fat though. I just graduated off for real. It's not bad. It is fact, so I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, nigga, I can repeat it. Stack your money while you young, though. Find something while you young. You ain't gotta find it later. Find it while you young. No cap to the young ones out there, nigga. If you watching. Hit that like and that sub button, but find it while you young, nigga. No kizzy. You can... Hit that like and that sub button, nigga. Don't know goddamn triangles. Go to school, kids. Nigga said triangles. You, about? you go to high school, what? graduate, then go to college, and still be f***ed up in life. You should go to college. Uh, that's true. Life school, is what you make it, bro. That shit ain't. You have K through 12, but go to college. No, I ain't saying that because there's no way you can do that. <laughs> it's a fantastic job getting to explore all the different cultures and communities and places in America. And this is one that was a very good time. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a beautiful time in Cincinnati. Seeing its music, seeing its people, and um, I had a great time. Any final thoughts, fellas, before people go on with their life today? I right, just appreciate appreciate you coming. I appreciate you. Shout out to my guy, T. Hey, that's a genuine guy right there, man. Shout out to my brother, that's CJ, man. Guy. Guys, mainstream media wants to convince you that people are always beefing, that we hate each other, that life sucks. But if you actually hit the streets and talk to people, life is pretty damn good. Show love to your fellow people out there, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace. Public man stuff, you gonna Peace, Summer G. Hey, so basically what Tommy G just said, jump off your porch and go talk to them people outside, man. Nah, don't jump off your porch. If you ain't jumping off that porch, stay on your porch. But go outside and talk to the people. They done jumped off their porch. But don't jump off the porch if you ain't jump off the porch. I'll see y'all in the next one too, man. Y'all know what to do by now.